looking at Romeo and Juliet, you see how, you know, like once he hooks up with, with Juliet, you know, like everything is great, except everything is terrible <laughs> at the same time. Like everything, you know, that he had before with his family um, and friends starts to fall apart almost immediately. Yeah, it, 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 it kind of like shrinks, you know, at the beginning, there's, it's this like big important thing that the, the character wants and then when it narrows down to that world and like they get it and they kind of cut themselves off from how that, the consequences that that has on everyone else around them and everything, all the surroundings that you start to see everything unravel from the edges inwards and, you know, they're kind of the last to see it, to see it happen. Oh yeah, they definitely are. You know, your hero is going to be, uh, it's going to be, uh, you know, not sideswiped. I can't even think of it. Anyway, they're going to be hit from the side. They're not going to see it blindsided. There we go. They're going to be blindsided by this event happening because they just don't get it. You know, they don't get how bad things are going to go until a little bit later. Um, yeah. And I like the, uh, this, this dream stage and where, um, you know, either they're just kind of, you know, it's come quite easily or maybe like, but I like when you can have characters here that are trying to stop them and can see everything that's sort of happening. And, yeah. you know, this, you can kind of like, you know, it, it can break up relationships, can't it, in the book and, you know, it, it causes conflict with the other characters. And this, this is like a, a fun stage of the, of the plot to, yeah. uh, to work out, you know, you can kind of, this is where the, the hero basically turns against everyone and everything you know to 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 keep hold of, of, of what it is, what it is want. That they want yeah um you know and you've got them really becoming obsessed with this thing and i think that's why um a tragedy works really well with love story interests because we can look back and whether it's happened to us or whether it's happened to friends that we're close to we can see that <laughs> how that uh, crazy chemical of the idea of love takes over and blinds people from everything else that's around them you know and we can see how that can happen and uh and it takes us to the frustration stage it's the third stage of the of the of the plot and that's that things start to go bad and the hero you know th they're scrambling to hold on to this, you know, and they're going to do whatever they can to keep what it is that they felt that they needed and they finally accomplished it, you know, and they're going to have to hold on to it now. And we can see how this is going to really start falling apart for the hero because now they're going to have to start crossing lines that they would never have done before, you know, and that for a moment it might work, but we know that it's not going to work. You know, that they, they think that this is going to work, but we know that, oh, it's going to be over. This is going to get much worse. Yeah, it's like, um, this, this is the bit where people start making deals with the devil. <laughs> uh -huh. and, and, you know, it, it, often they start off as maybe like an altruistic character and everything's pure and everything's, you know, going to be perfect and it's kind of like idealistic and then it's not and it's real and everyone's trying to take it away from you yeah. <laughs> and then and you get to kind of see explore a little bit of what it is to be human and what what we what we're willing to do to to just just to get what we want yeah and when you can do that with a character when you can make them look in the mirror and see how far they're willing to go it can be very uh it can be a very emotional moment you know that uh because there's that moment, you know, when a person, they're like, oh my goodness, I didn't know I had that in me to do this. Like um, another good one, we've just talked basically about uh, um, William Shakespeare's plays. But even if we take it into modern times, if you've watched the show Breaking Bad and we watched Walter, how he continually makes the choices and crosses the lines, you know, and how far he's willing to go for what it is that he wants. Yeah, that's a great example. You know, that could that could certainly be ar argued as being uh, quite tragic. Um, you know, no spoilers. But <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but um, he really, he, yeah, he really goes on a a journey from you know teacher to kind of like drug kingpin, yeah. <laughs> drug lord, and, <laughs> and certainly crosses a, a lot of lines. And but if it's done right the whole way, you you still sympathise with no matter how bad he gets or what kind of person he becomes you still you still feel like you understand every one of those decisions right because we're we're putting ourselves you're, you're putting the reader into that position of how far will they go for what it is that they want and you're right you've got to set this up to have it make sense 
it's a it's a fine line to to walk because you're trying on the one side to allow the the reader to see that it's going to fail but on the other side you want the reader to be rooting that somehow they're going to be able to pull this off and get everything back to normal thank you for listening and come back next week for more please visit the bookeditorshow.com for show notes links to guests books and extras and for information on how to be a guest on the show